Just 20 years of age, coming off of playing four years in the Western Hockey League with Vancouver. Centering pass, redirected right on Budai, and he made the save. Oh, and Tyler Sagan got hurt, too, right in front of the Boston bench as that play was happening. Oh, big Chara now in the corner. Chara, and Emil, I believe that is. Yeah, it is. Oh. And with the big boys involved, you can hear these fans going crazy here. There was a lot going on. Tyler Sagan got hurt right in front of the Boston bench. There was almost a goal scored by Marshawn, and then the play ends with these two guys going at it. Emelin's got to be thinking, yeah, he is big. Emelin's listed at 6'2", 225. He is not a small man, but... Yeah, he's still giving 40 pounds oh, away to yeah. Shara. And there's Sagan. The play started in the neutral zone. And Sagan went down. It was on the near side board, so I couldn't see it immediately to my right. Here's, well, that's where he went down. Did he get hit with a stick? It looks like he got stuck with a stick. I'd have to see that one again. And there's Chara. Yeah, it was Chara Emelin went. that hit him. So uh, Chara made a beeline right at Emelin. Let's take one more look at Emelin coming across on Sagan. Chara obviously saw it. Okay, in the neutral zone, there's Sagan in the middle of your screen. And it's a, like a cross check. In the rift, Looks like yep. a cross check across the ribs. Yeah. That's what got it. Emelin even broke his stick on it because he dropped it immediately thereafter. That's what Sedano Chara saw. And he came across and sent the kid a message. Trees Bergeron's in there for Boston because, of course, Sedano Chara. There's one more look. Involved. There's Sagan right at center ice. Right on the hip or on the ribs. And then the play continued. And look at Marshawn. I mean, Marshawn is right there. The puck goes just off his stick. He has a great scoring chance. He can't quite control it. And Chara, all he could see was red. And he was going after Emelin. He was angry. The big man was. And Chara well, threw a couple. I, I guess the question is, Brian, instigator against Chara? I mean, he, he went right over there to try to uh, exact some justice for the hit. Yeah. Yep. And it didn't look like the Bruins were too happy with the explanation they were getting. That is Steve Kozari that's talking with Claude Julien. And Claude is motioning to the neutral ice area too, which is where Sagan got hit. He wants to know if there was anything from that. I, I didn't see a hand up on that original hit by Emelin, so watch Chara coming in. Chara just, boom, <coughs> right to him. He didn't charge him. He was cruising in. Knocked him down. Get up. I want to hit you again. There's a wrong way to play. There's a right way to play. There's also a dangerous way to play. What do you think of Montreal angering and physically challenging the Bruins in that period? I think they have to play unafraid, but they have to be careful who, who they pick as a partner. And I thought their choice of partners here was a little bit suspect on occasion. What was uh, that? Watch the cross check in the ribs to Sagan. That's a very vulnerable spot. Uh, you know, that's why Chara went right after them. He's in control here. He's sending a message. And boy, does the big guy want to send a message. So if you want to start picking fights for the Boston Bruins, you better get the lineup and the roster straight before you get started. But if you're Yemlin, it's pretty good time to try to make a play to kind of change the momentum in the game with Boston coming back. He's an irritating player to play against. He's done a real good job for Montreal on their blue line. Didn't grab his nose, though. No. <laughs> Got your yeah. nose. Char's message is, I'm much bigger than you. His Luke message is you message, cannot message. take it. You can't, you can't hurt a p person on our team. Hit him in a vulnerable spot. And that was a big-time cross-check, and he, I thought he made the right move.